A solar panel road claimed to be the world's first has opened in France. The 0.6-mile stretch of road in the small Normandy village of Tour Verobert is paved with 2,880 solar panels which convert energy from the sun into electricity. It is hoped that the road could eventually provide enough energy to power the small village's street lights. The Watoy Road features 2,800 square meters of panels and was showcased today at an inauguration ceremony attended by French Minister for Ecology, Sustainable Development and Energy Siegeling Royal. The road is expected to produce 280 mwh of electricity a year. While the daily production will fluctuate according to weather and seasons, it is expected to reach 767 kilowatt hours per day, with peaks up to 1,500 kilowatt hours per day in summer. Some 2,000 motorists will use the RD5 road every day during a two-year test period. During that time, assessments will be made as to whether the road is capable of generating enough power to run the village's street lights. Torver Operkiv is home to around 3,400 residents. The project is said to have cost 5m and was financed by the French government. It forms part of a four-year plan to introduce more solar roads, with the next scheduled for Western Brittany and Southern Marseille. Prior to the unveiling of the solar road, the panels were tested at four car parks across France. The constructor was Colas, part of Giant Telecom's group Bourget and financed by the state. Colas said that in theory France could become energy independent by paving only a quarter of its roads with solar panels. One drawback of the system is that solar panels are more effective when angled towards the sun, typically on slanted rooftops than when they are laid flat. They are also less useful on busy roads because they will not generate electricity if they are in the shadow of slow-moving traffic. Watway director Jean Charles Broisette said, We are still on an experimental phase. Building a trial site of this scale is a real opportunity for our innovation. This trial site has enabled us to improve our photovoltaic panels installing process as well as their manufacturing in order to keep on optimizing our innovation. Not only will the road's durability will be under scrutiny, but experts will also need to establish whether the village in Northwestern gets enough sunshine to produce enough power. The selection of gloomy Normandy raised eyebrows among critics who pointed out a sunnier road in the south of the country would have been a better bet for solar technology. Can the regional political capital of Normandy enjoys 44 days of bright sunshine a year compared with 170 in Marseille in the south? Critics have also questioned the expense of the system. Each kilowatt peak, the unit of measure for solar energy produced by Watway currently costs 14.50 to generate, compared with 1.10 for a large rooftop installation, but the developers hope to make the scheme cost competitive by 2020. Mark Jetlitschka of the Sustainable Energy Group Network for Energetic Transition said, It's without doubt a technical advance, but to develop renewables there are other priorities than a gadget of which we are more certain that it's very expensive than the fact it works. French Environment Minister Siegeling Royal, the former partner of President François Hollande and mother of his four children, said, This new use of solar energy takes advantage of large swaths of road infrastructure to produce electricity without taking up new real estate. In October, a solar-powered cycle path was opened in Poland. The track is studded with thousands of phosphor-coated crystals which emit light after being charged by the sun. The luminous cycling strip, which is 100 meters long, is located in a park near the town of Lajbark Warminski in the north of Poland. It was created by the technology firm TPA and Stichap Baden Technik Nick SP. ZOO and is currently still in the testing phase. TPA President Igor Rutmer told the Polish publication Gazeta Wyberka that the material used for their track and produced light for more than 10 hours. The original Electric Avenue was a street in Brixton, London, built in the 1880s. It was the first market street to be lit by electricity. It gave its name to Eddie Grant's hit 1983 single.